also Victoria Justice, the darling of Nickelodeon. TV. Yes. Um, this Who is, sounds like a superhero. I mean, I, know, I, I, just I love like her. That. That's our, why I love her. Our, our badass lawyer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And just so dum, dum. Th- this is this is her 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 <laughs> big chance to break out in a in a full featured you know released to the, the the general public movie. Thank God, because I'll tell you what, Vanessa uh, Vanessa Hudgens used to be on my radar. She ain't anymore. You know who is Victoria Judge? Is she like, legal? Mm. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Oh, don't worry. I looked She's into always it. Been legal. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, okay. the, the, yeah. To me. The thing about Victoria Justice, I mean. Corey, if you haven't seen her, it's like, yeah, she she plays 14-year-olds all the time, but you know she's older. Um, the girl, is, she's about as skinny as that lamp, but she's got a beautiful face. <laughs> Gorgeous. You, you know, I like that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I, but he then, loves lamps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, you like that until that girl blows you off, and then you go like, Psh, she ain't no ass anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I know. You will get talked about. So, you, so the best course is to just get with me. <laughs> Girls who look like lamps are really shady, though. So. <laughs> oh, you didn't, let me. <laughs> I'm trying to throw at your ass. I'm trying no, to do big and hard hey, enough. Let I get do. it. Girls shaped like lamps are easier to turn on. Don't I understand it, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh so now this is what uh, this is what is confusing me about this movie. Because I'm looking at trailers for it. There's humping jokes in the trailer. Oh, yeah. And mm. then I hear people talking about how there's cursing in here. Humping jokes. Man, man okay. Because you're, you're like 10 minutes but into PG, the movie. But, but it's PG-13. Yeah. But yet, it's, it's, it's weird. It's a Nickelodeon movie. But it's a Nickelodeon movie. Yeah. And yeah. it's weird because everything about it screams Nickelodeon movie. Or yeah. watch this on Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. And yet, 10 minutes in, she bumps into a little black kid. And he goes, bitch. Yeah. And like. The fuck is this? <laughs> well, keep in mind that kids are a little more crude today. Oh yeah, no, they, they have that. something called the internet. Right, but they were they were already crude on the last Nickelodeon movie they made, and they didn't make them crude. You know what I mean? Like kids were crude the last time they made a Nickelodeon movie, and yet that didn't make it into that one. Yeah, it's, so it's just an odd thing that throws you off. Now, as far and then, as the, story, and then the black kid shoots an ass. Yeah. <laughs> as, as, as far as the, the person's story, Brian, you can correct correct me if I'm wrong. All right, it's it's Halloween night. And Victoria J- uh, Justice, she, once again, she plays one of these gorgeous girls who somehow is an uber nerd that nobody wants to hang out with, and it, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, and she's got a cool friend, and they want to go to the cool guy's party. He's, oh, the party. Yeah, yes. the party. He's, a, he's like a teenage you know, guy who plays in a band, and they, they all, oh, he wants, you want to get with him and go to his party, but you got these dork friends. And, but he, the guy comes by, he wants to invite her. The, yeah, you, Victoria Justice, you hot. I want you at my party. <laughs> ah! We get to go. Can't right. blame him. We go to this party. We're going to be fun. We're going to be popular. And her mom goes, okay, I'm going to a Halloween party, so go watch your brother. Take him out trick-or-treating. That's what you're taking Albert out in? Oh, no. I forgot to tell you. You're going to watch Albert tonight. I'm going to a party with Keevan. A party? With Keevan? Why are you saying his name like that? It's not even a name, Mom. You're either Kevin or you're Steven. Keevan does not exist. Keevan does exist, and he is kind and employed. No. Mom, I did not agree to this. Please! Don't do this to me. Honey, if you watch Albert tonight, I'll sign the application for NYU tomorrow. And then this time next year, you're going to be trick-or-treating the West Village. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. No! Oh, the tag of the little brother. Yeah. See, I, I, I was that little motherfucker, man. <laughs> my, yeah. I did that to my sister all the time. But go ahead. <laughs> Were you a juvenile delinquent who refused to talk also? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I was a, well, no, I, I no, talked way too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I was a retarded guy with my mouth open all the time. But. Now, that's, that's kind of the setup. But the, the main point of the setup is that they go trick-or-treating and the little brother gets lost. So it becomes uh, another after-hours adventures in babysitting uh, Almost who's that proj- girl? How about Project X? No. no. Oh, okay. I was no. about to say because the way they make the trailer seem like it, it's like Nickelodeon's version of Project X, no, and no, I no. can't help okay. but laugh yeah. at that you know, shit. It, yeah. for, for them, that like the goal to be to get to the party that barely features into it. It honestly feels more like it happened one night than Project X. Okay. Like it's it's more about all of the events that like the party itself is kind of a, a non-point. It, it's where she wants to be. But it's it's not the the focus of the movie. The focus of the movie is the the search for Albert, the little brother, and the shenanigans that he gets into during the evening. Mm-hmm. So I see. So it is one of those movies where we lost something, we got to find it. But along the way, we're gonna have crazy adventures. Yes, yes. <laughs> crazy and Nickelodeon you know, adventures I, at that. I'm <laughs> glad you brought up adventures and babysitting because. This movie, to me, I was watching, and I was like, it feels like Adventures in Babysitting, and that made me think back to The Sitter, which was just a blatant ripoff of Adventures in Babysitting, except that it didn't understand what made Adventures in Babysitting work, which is that even though we have a character who's taking children and basically putting them in peril, 
we still liked Elizabeth Shue because her motivation wasn't selfish. Right. She was going to like you know help out a friend. She was between a rock and a hard place. And the sitter is like, oh, I'm going to get a blowjob, so I'm going to take these kids and and to this bad neighborhood. And uh, so he's a dick, and you don't like him. You don't care about the kids. Yeah. The the thing I like about Fun Size is that it was never the daughter's intention to ditch the, the little brother and go to the party. Like she was saddled with it, she was upset about it, but she still like went out and took him trick or treating, and then he just fucking wandered off. So you have that. There's there's, there's no a, selfish motivation right, behind it. Right, it's genuine. It's like, oh shit, where'd my little brother go? I gotta find him. Like that's that's basic plot stuff, but it works a lot better than the sitter, which also tried to be Adventures of Baby. So you're I, telling me it's actually funny. I thought it was very funny. No. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> no, no, cause, yeah, this is where we get to sit back <laughs> yeah. and enjoy. Now, these two sons of bitches over here have been ganging up on us yeah, for what? every review tonight. I knew, just quit fucking around, okay? I knew you. Ain't gang up on no, you. I know you guys just. I know you guys don't like Cloud Atlas. I know yeah. y'all. You know, I know y'all really like. We uh, we heard it. We don't yeah. forget. Yeah, yeah, you know, y'all just wanted to just fucking agree just to gang up on us. But now yeah. we get to see. You two go ahead. It's going to be an agenda. There's always going to be an agenda. Now now the hunter hunter has become the hunter. Yeah. yeah. In my mind, yeah, I like like, like conflicts. (laughs) You're trying to set this shit up like WWE. (laughs) Like, oh, no, you didn't like Cloud Atlas. Hey, uh, Coles, hand me that pool stick back there. I'm breaking it in half and make him go ahead. It has begun. (laughs) We're going to have a tryout. Okay, so this is interesting. So, Leon, you didn't like it. No. And, and Brian, you're saying that this is very enjoyable. You fucking love it. Well, I mean, I don't... (laughs) I'm sure you know Leon went into it with the same very low expectation that I did. Oh, yeah. well, maybe not low enough. Maybe uh, not low enough. Uh, let me rephrase it this way, Leon. You didn't enjoy this that much, uh, Brian. He says you a stupid motherfucker <laughs> for liking this. <laughs> Man, so oh. much shit stirring going on in here. <laughs> oh, that's that's Corey for you. He'll, yeah. he'll make it up if it ain't there. <laughs> Leon, <laughs> just wait till you hear it edited together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Leon, uh, he, Brian said, "Oh yeah, niggers like this kind of." <laughs> <What>? yeah. <laughs> People that. Hey, hey, Leon, I heard it too. Yeah, I heard it, man. I'm just saying. You know the comment section will believe that shit. Don't say that. Oh, no, please debate this. Yeah. You know, it's funny because there was a point when we got in a movie where he, he was talking to his roommate and it got quiet when I walked up. And I was like, oh, come was on. <laughs> like, Here comes the black guy. Yeah. Like stupid stuff. Yeah. That's not true at all. No, My roommate know, actually, wasn't there. Okay, you know, let's, let's, let's look over yeah. there. I'm mean, just kidding. Yeah. But I, it, this really does uh, make for better reviews, and we have two different opinions right here <laughs> who wants to who, who wants to go first brian you want to go first yeah you like we got we, we, so got, we got obama and romney right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well as obama i, I, love, I will go I first even, I, I love he's even acting like Ronnie's like oh, oh yeah let's start with you since you love it so and, much and, and brian just to make sure that the comment the comment people are cool with you you're gonna be obama yeah. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> no, you know uh, I always love hearing the negative side of stuff because people just get raw with that. Let's hear the good side, the, the good I, side first. Okay, well, you know, like Leon, I went in this movie with, with very little expectation. I'm not what you would call a fan of Nickelodeon's movies, partially because they're not aimed at my demographic and partially because they are ass. Um, but this, this <laughs> I movie, tend to like that, though. <laughs> not, they're not ass, but ass. They're ass. They're just as ace. Yeah. Um, but this movie, honestly, it was, it was far more genuine than a lot of the schlocky kind of, oh, well, it's good enough for Nickelodeon type of laziness that you see in these movies. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I thought the jokes worked, and I thought there was just the right uh, measure of, of crudeness in these characters that you don't see a lot in Nickelodeon movies. This is, I believe it was a PG-13 yeah, it is. film. So they were able to say, you know, bitch and ass and, and whatever, but they don't use it to the point of something like Superbad where it's like every other line. So it, 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 to me, it's, it's very well balanced, and I really enjoyed the story, and I, I, thought, I thought the little Albert kid was fucking hysterical. That, Who's that, the Albert kid? Is that the little brother? Yeah, he's the little brother who dresses as one armed Spider Man for Halloween. <laughs> one armed Spider Man. Yeah, he wants to. He's a he's a crazy little mute kid, and he's he's like he's kind of a maniac in a lot of ways. Um, so he's in the Halloween store and he wants to buy this severed arm as part of his costume, and his sister's like, "No, that's weird. You're a kid. How about Spider Man instead?" So the compromise is he goes as one armed Spider Man. So he looks like <laughs> Zombie Spider Man with like part of his arm shoot off, and that and that just kind of feeds into the the weirdness of the character. He's wearing a mask 
mask most of the time, and then like everybody that meets him like instantly wants to hang out with him. And they address that at one point in the movie because it is weird that like the guy at the convenience store is like, "Hey, little guy, you're lost. Let's hang out. Come on, let's let's go drive around." And then he turns around and goes. For the record, I'm not luring an eight-year-old into my car. I want everyone to know that. <laughs> For the record, except uh, he is. <laughs> but it's it's funny that they address the fact that you know it, it's it's a weird story. It is weird all the way around. But it's also I thought very like I said very genuine and it has some emotional resonance to it. That at first I was like, don't go there, and then I was like, okay, well that actually worked. Brian, since you since you really really loved it, uh, <laughs> I, I do have one thing I want to ask. And this is something that, you know, I, I noticed a new batch of, like, these Nickelodeon kids, which are usually female. They're, you know, when they, they get their one movie, you know, to really shine, I have a problem when I know somebody I think is attractive, like Vanessa Hudgens. You see them in their first movie, and you realize, wow, they can't act worth a shit. How is Victoria Justice in this movie? I think, I think she's, she's perfect. she does a perfectly good job in this movie. Like, it's, it's not anything that I would single her out and go, wow, that is a, a phenomenal performance. But... I was never aggravated with her. I thought all of her choices made sense. I thought all of the motivations for that character worked. It, to me, everything just... It, it's not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination, but considering what I thought I was in for, I really enjoyed the ride. That's good to hear. Okay, uh, Mr. Romney. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tell us why you hate poor people. Yes. <laughs> well, 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 clearly, Brian hasn't been doing a good job in his, these last four years. <laughs> and, 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 and everything he's done... Even the stuff that was good, he could have done it better. <laughs> Yo, are you my yeah. mom? Yeah. And, 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 and I have a plan that's just like his, but it's my plan, so yeah. it's better than his. Yeah, plan. Mr. Obama, <laughs> your last four reviews have been a miserable failure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Leon, by the way, he likes Sesame Street, too. I think, I think oh, no, my, when, when I get in charge, that's, that's gone. My opponent is a good man. He's a family man. But Fun Size was his nickname in his college dormitory. <laughs> no, I, you started out as something. Yeah, right. I, don't even, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. It was not real Obama, yeah. then it just went back to Brian. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were, it was something that became Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody told me it was going to have to be Obama on this fucking review. Sorry, you're right. We didn't give you a chance You chose it. I know. Well, that's because Romney's a douche. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You were saying something. I'm sorry. Mr. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leon, sir. Uh, yeah, man. For you to come in and say, like, this, this was better than your expectations, I can't imagine what your expectations were. Because I was like, wow, man, they, this is so poorly half written. Yeah, they had the idea of what this could be, but no talent to pull it off. Now, I will say that Victoria Justice, she's fine in it. It's, yeah. the, the role is light, and, and she carries it as the, as the lead fine. Thank you. And, and if there was an actor that, that really <laughs> shone to me. Yeah, you, you're, you're okay, Cole. What, what are you, her agent? <laughs> I know. Thank you. No, I am now. He's her stalker. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a difference. <laughs> I'm excited when I get, I get smelling more, a Kleenex yeah. full of her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Thank by, you. By, 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 by telling him that she did a, an okay performance, he can go like, okay, well, fine. Fuck the restraining order. I'm, I'm full steam ahead. <laughs> I feel justified in stalking yeah. a talented person. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, but the, probably the actor I liked the most was the, the actor actress who played her best friend who's oh, yeah. kind of like like her you know like the girl will have her bitchy best friend the one saying we got to go to the party you know uh, dump these nerds that keep trying to hang out with us jane levy J jane levy that's right is that's that the girl that's going to be in the brian you said she's going to be evil, in the dead, new, evil dead movie yep. yeah. yeah yeah and and you know what? as to be a bitchy best friend who is still likable and funny the whole time she, she pulled it off like anytime mm -hmm. she was on that i liked mm -hmm. but the situations they wrote to have happen i just like this is just kind of they're, they're so kind of lame. Like they, they might start off like, okay, maybe this has potential, and you might get an actor like the convenience store clerk who was funny in himself, but yet every payoff was just like, that's it. Now, are they on the level of Nickelodeon bad? I mean, because when you say bad, I mean, that's what I'm imagining, because as much as I love Victoria, ja uh, Victoria Justice, that show she's on Victoria is fucking awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> awfully that's, written. That's yeah, why, like, I really, watch. like, her, that, like, if you ever see her in that show, I don't know how you could still have any feelings toward her after that. Hey, believe me, uh, you could get a lot done with her. <laughs> He's got my, feelings. They're they, inappropriate. Yeah, but they're, 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 they're not up here. They're down there. Yeah, yeah. They, will, they will land him in jail, but he has feelings. <laughs> but just not, nothing paid off in a way that stuck with me to go, like, oh, that was clever. Oh, that was cool. It's like, well, in a better movie, maybe this could have worked. Um, you got Johnny Knoxville, who's uncredited, but has a big role in it. I saw that. Uh, you wow. know, I saw a, a picture or a scene of him in there, and I thought, oh, he's, really? yeah, he, he's, there's, there's a point where he kind of takes over the movie, and he's uncredited. Yeah, mm. as as well he should as be. As well he should be. It's almost. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. He's 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 terrible in this movie. That's just the way it is. When is he ever good? That's what yeah, I want. But how is he still getting work? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's as an actor that is. He's great when he's getting hit in the nuts. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, as an actor. 
I, I don't know. I mean, it made me wonder, like, did he do this as a, as a favor to somebody? But there's, there's so many places. Or is somebody it. doing it as a favor to him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, but believe right. me, he ain't doing nobody no favors He's being in their movies. He's not to movie. himself, anybody yeah. <laughs> But I sat there, you know, the funny thing, like, the movie started and Brian was tired. And I had those, those, those caffeine things called sheets. And I was like, hey, Brian, you want a sheet to wake you up? And then after I gave it to him, I was sitting there, I was like, Oh shit! It's my last one. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through <laughs> oh, this no, movie. I believe you said, <laughs> yeah, "Oh sheet." Yeah, right, yeah. Brian said, "No, I actually want a sheet, not a sheet, sheet." I resisted going <sighs> through the movie, but I kept wanting to. I was like, every so often, man, you guys come so close to doing something, and yet it kept reminding me. It was on a level of that movie, "Take Me Home Tonight," where it's just like. Okay, one crazy situation after another that's not that crazy and not really that funny. It's a little funny. too random for you. Yeah, yeah, too, too random and just n- not enough done with it. And Jane, and Jane Levy, uh, whenever she's on, hey, man, it's great. But then there's a point where she's just kind of like cut out of the movie. And it's just, it's just dying to me at, at that point. Mm. Wow, and, interesting. And even when it's coming to the end, I was like, well, you know what? I guess the kids will like it. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell a parent like, well, yeah, they say shit, bitch, and damn. Way more than they should in ways that don't enhance the film any, but mm-hmm. it's just almost like shock value because they could. I'm like, well, if you could, then actually do something with it. Um, but I'm almost like, you know what? Whatever. Let it go. But then they have to go like, hey, with that where and does all this crazy random shit that you're yeah, supposed to like. That's telling an awful lot right there. <laughs> It, well, it's. It, I mean, it's, it's getting to like what what really took my rating down. There's something that happens the, after the credits when the movie's yeah. pretty much done. And it could have got out of there and, and saved I'm just a trying to. I'm trying to prevent the spoiler from I'm, coming okay, alive. Okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm backing up. I'm like backing Green up. Goblin the coming back in the Bay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, come back here again. But, but I mean, Brian, Hi. you, you going to take that shit? <laughs> exactly. I, 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 he's not. I mean, like, it's. it's it, look, it's his. <laughs> since I can't do Obama, I'll just do Clinton. Look, it's his opinion. He is welcome to it. <laughs> I just don't happen to agree with what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I honestly, like, it, there's a lot of things. Uh, that that Leon's absolutely right about. The the difference is I see this movie as being just as light and just as kind of fluffy, but so is Cotton Candy, and I enjoy eating cotton candy, and uh, some people mm. don't. Okay, there you <laughs> go. That is my defense. It's cotton the cotton candy defense. It has gotten me out of many scrapes. Yeah, well, That's I my like, Victoria Justice defense. I, I like cotton candy, too, but it's not a dinner. Well, i tell you what. Let's, let's, the, the, the movie's called Fun Size. It's not yeah. supposed to be a dinner. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, hey, hey. What the, well, Brian, what would you give the movie? I will give this movie a matinee. Okay. Rock. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> right to the point. He just, yeah, he just blew Leon's mind right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like, well, and when he said Madden, he actually spit it on Leon. <laughs> I'll get this on Madden. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a rental, even a low rental to me, until that part at the end when I was like, bullshit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some old bullshit. Damn. All right. Well, yeah. Brian, you're bigger than he is, so Matt Nate is. <laughs> <laughs> when did that become the rule? <laughs> Since we didn't I'm, have to be in the I'm, review. I'm curious. How, how, do, how will you work this out? What, what rating will it get on the site? That is, that is a, a, a really interesting thing to say. <laughs> I, here's what it is. Something I will not answer. A rent, a rent no, tank? No, no. <laughs> I, I think... I think that Democrats are going to say bullshit and uh, Republicans are going to say matinee. Yeah. Well, because of the Electoral Review College, our ratings don't even count. Yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat, bitch! Please, we have a situation involving a musket and a drumstick. I have this. Uh, no! I did not have it. It is a 